<sighs> I know that there's been this excuse that video games can't translate to movies or shows for the longest time, and they have to change it like the Halo show's terrible excuse, but if this wasn't the absolute definite proof that instead of the material being bad, it's just people being shit with the material, I have no idea what is. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for the Fallout television series of this first season. This was developed by Amazon, and the showrunners were Geve Geneva, Robertson, Dorrett, and Graham Wagner. Graham Wagner has worked on a lot of stuff like uh, Utopia, The Office, uh, Community. Whereas Geneva's kind of not done as much. She was one of the co-writers for Captain Marvel. All the while, executive producer Jonathan Nolan, who directed the first two episodes, and Lisa Joy, both Westworld alum alumni, were attached to this. And this is really, really good. I will admit, I've not played as many of the Fallout games as others have. I did four to absolute completion, and then some. It's one of my most played games of all time. Admittedly, this has made me want to give... Vegas a try again because this show just absolutely nails what makes Fallout so popular while also devolving its own storyline. Yes, technically speaking, it, the main quest point is that of a Bethesda storyline with the main character Lucy, who is absolutely fantastically played by Ella Purnell, is searching for her father, who has been taken by raiders from their vault and along the way she encounters a multitude of different characters, one of them being Maximus, played by Aaron Morton, who is part of the Brotherhood of Steel, who is trying to basically find his purpose in life at, through the Brotherhood, but starts to maybe see his own co cases. And then, of course, Walton Coggins playing the ghoul, who otherwise was Cooper Howard, who absolutely steals the show with every scene he's in. Whenever Coggins can tap in to what made him so great and justified, you know you're going to have a good time. His character is literally the moral gray line. And I've heard that the really good joke that the three people in the show all have kind of the base set Fallout player. Lucy is the very good, trying to be morally good, trying to do the right thing character. Maximus is the soldier who's willing to get stuff done. And then there's Walter Coggins, who I will kill you if you have ammo on you playthrough. But let's talk about the very nitty gritty thing about this and that it absolutely slams Halo, the TV series, into the fucking dirt with that show's emphasis that they needed to make their own universe to have their own story, that they couldn't tell it properly because the material wasn't there for it absolute bullshit with this show. The Fallout show is its own story, but it is based in the lore, and it did help that Todd Howard was a part of it, and he was really holding on to a lot of stuff, unlike 343, who just, I don't know how after 15 years they came up with that. I, I'm gonna stop talking about the Halo show. This is not only giving us some future basis of what could be in Fallout 5, but it is creating its own narrative story. You care about these characters, and you are deeply invested in their quests in what made them who they are and there's this fantastic kind of building into the background with Walton Coggins who was a celebrity when the bombs dropped and you get to find out a lot about the backstory of vault Tech. this is stuff that's been insinuated ever since the game started but it's never been fully answered and I like some of the things that they do do I am a little bit skeptical about one and I'll talk about that after I've given my review because that will be a spoiler bit the key thing that this show did is it respected the material not only with from the set design to the props to the costumes but also just the absolute feeling of what fallout is yes it is a post-apocalyptic setting but there's this really good dark humor that is littered throughout the fallout series and that's what the show has every episode i felt got better as it went along i thought the intro was really good but the show did get progressively better to a pretty cool cliffhanger ideal and that sense of moral ambiguity that the New Vegas game, from what I've been told, was fraught with. It was full of these kind of moments that the show ends on, and that was a great point. The show has a ton of laughs, it has a ton of great action scenes, it has a ton of really good characters, it also has a ton of cameos. There's a lot of cameos in this show. You are left wanting more by the end of it, and that's exactly what you kind of want. 
It didn't need to set up something to make it feel like there's going to be more. It made you want more. And that's the sign of a show being made well, as well as respecting the fans that came first. This is how you get the broader audience. You appeal to what made it popular with a giant fan base in the first place. Because if it was already popular before as it was, it's certainly going to get more people, even if they aren't interested in video games. And that's very, very clear for the show. Even if you haven't played the Fallout games, even if you don't really know about Fallout, you'll enjoy this. As a fan of the game, at least Fallout 4, I really enjoyed this, and I imagine you will too. In terms of any kind of negatives, like I said, I don't really like a twist that happens later on this, because it's just so stupid to me. It doesn't make any kind of sense in terms of how the lore has been established, but that's it. That is my biggest complaint. The show is really well put together. I think it's got great basis for what's going to come next. And I even think you could rewatch this. Maybe there are some characters and some storylines that kind of drag a little bit throughout the middle bit, but that's kind of commonplace. You can't have every episode be a banger. But the show overall is a fantastic show to watch. So in the end, my rating for Fallout Season 1 is a 6 out of 7. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great time. I'm very, very happy that something has been made like this because i'll be honest i think this is probably the best adaptation of a video game product originally it would have been the last of us but the thing about the last of us was the first half of that season was sort of like the game but it also added itself and it added this extra layer and did some changes that made it unique and made it really fun whereas the last i think three or four episodes it was dead on from the game and i think that kind of added it for me but this like I said, it's its own thing. It's absolutely basing itself in what is loved about Fallout, but it's just its own little story. So it's like its own game, but it's a TV show. But now to talk about the spoiler bit, so spoiler warning here below, I understood the initial ooh that it was Fault Tech that dropped the bombs, because let's be honest, it kind of makes sense because you don't hear any planes, then all of a sudden the bombs just blow up, but the idea that it's all like this capitalist idea that you know if with like the what's the best way to win is time once we're the only ones left we'll control the entire economy it's like you fucking idiots your economy is now bottle caps by this point i liked it when it was complete loonies that were making these vaults essentially as an idea to create human experiments they didn't actually think the bombs would drop or that's one the other one is that it was the enclave who made these like worked with vault to make these things with the idea the bombs would drop but also as human experiment locations i don't know this that whole capitalist thing about it's time we'll win like once everyone's like you, we just have to wait the longest and then we'll be the rulers it's like you guys are so fucking dumb with this idea it's it's the one bit I think that was not well handled. I think that is just such a fucking stretch to believe. But the show was so good that I was willing to accept this absolute idiocy of writing. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts about the show. Very interested to see what you guys had to say. If you're a Fallout fan, what did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Where do you think the show will go? Where do you think it stands in the hierarchy of all other video game adaptations? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.